And as milestones go, the Russian full-scale invasion, one year anniversary is both grim and vexing. It marks a full year of killing, destruction, terror, loss, and pain felt even far beyond the borders of Ukraine. It also marks a simple yet empowering realization. Ukraine is still here. That in itself is a stinging defeat for the Kremlin. Throughout this year, we are collectively stumbled a number of times. I myself have done my fair share in maintaining a sense of much needed urgency in our support to Ukraine. But let us allow, but, but let's allow ourselves to take a moment to consider where we were a year ago and where we are now. A year ago, they said and thought that the liberal democracies, paralyzed by greed and naivety, will implode and the West, supposedly irreparably broken and failing, will bark much louder than it will bite. And yet, that tired old West turns out to have remarkable willpower. From the Nordics shipping anti-tank missiles to Germany, bringing the Leopards to cutting off Russian gas and oil flows, metaphorically and physically, into Europe. I must admit, I did not think that this was truly possible. It is a marvel and a credit to the values we postulate and as it appears actually hold us sacrosanct. Russia is already on borrowed time, fighting with its own demons, Satanists, drug addicts, Nazis, and Christians, whatever is their delusion of the weak, are firmly on their way towards the brink of no return, all based on lies. Russia is a country stuck in a quicksand of myth. Ukraine, with their voices, their protests, and their defiance, and their struggle and commitment to fight until victory, have pushed their way into confident, determined, and resilient nation on its path towards wherever and whatever it chooses. And today, I want to convey a message to our Ukrainian colleagues. Razum do peremogi. Together till victory. Slava Ukraini. Thank you very much, Mr. Richard.